get into the video guys, if you want to win the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, just leave a comment within the first 12 hours, which means you've got to be a Notification Squad member, so subscribe, turn the bell on, and also like the video. And I'll pick a winner. Okay, so I just applied this black primer from Smith & Colt, it's called Black Drop. Okay, I'm going to apply over the top of that my CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. So I just did one layer, so it's a kind of like not super full coverage. Oh, that pimple is really resilient. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cover that with my NARS Concealer Creamy Matte. I love this stuff. Just look at that, all gone in a couple taps. Don't you love that? Concealer is bae. Okay, I'm gonna do under my eyes. I have not even tried this yet. It's the Becca Anti Fatigue Under Eye Primer. It's, oh, I don't know what I expected. Wow. I mean, it kind of looks like a cream eyeshadow, right? It's blue. Let's put that under there. Luckily, the blue does not show up. <laughs> under eye primer seems like such a good idea. I don't know if there are any other under eye primers. Sometimes I use like regular eye primer under my eye or like I extend it if I've applied it to my lid. But I'm gonna bake under there today because I'm going to try the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. So this is the KKW Concealer. I love it. It's so brightening. So like just what it says. I only put a little bit really, but I love it. I love it. I think Kim said she uses number seven, which is really bright on her, I think. But I don't like it too bright. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? It still is kind of bright, isn't it? <laughs> I love contradicting myself. <laughs> Usually I put some in here because I find the under eye concealers have really good pore filling qualities, I guess because they're trying to smooth out the lines. And I always find that it looks good if I just dot it in here to make this area that's in the eye line really smooth and bright. I feel like it really smooths it out. And it just ties together the under eye concealer. Now I know I don't normally do this, but I'm going to bake. When you're ready to go, bye bitches. Oh my god, queen of comedy. Guys, I really think the Huda Beauty gemstone palettes are so pretty. And it's great because if you're into greens, then you can just use this along with your neutrals palette. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And I think that's really great. Plus, peel pawn! Mm. Mm. So there are no neutrals in here, so you're gonna get a bright look. Let's have fun. Oh, I need to do my eyebrows. <laughs> Imagine. Because I'm doing a crazy eye look, I'm definitely gonna keep the rest of my face fairly basic, bitch. So this brow veil from Amy Jean is good because it's a little powder. I feel like powder is the most uh, natural kind of brow look. I just go with my natural brow shape. This one's a darker color, but I also have a lighter color, which makes them even more natural. NARS sent me these eye primers, the Smudge Proof Tinted Eyeshadow Base. I'll try this more neutral one because I'm a neutral bay. The other one's kind of yellow, so. That looks nice. It definitely smoothed out my eye and covered some of the imperfections. I'm kind of nervous about wearing green eyeshadow today because I have a lot to do. I really like the packaging. It's very compact, even though it's good sized pans. I can fold it all the way back and it has a mirror. I'm gonna use this mint color. Okay, I only dipped my brush in once and it was nice. So I dipped it in again. This is what I'm getting. I love this color. A couple of years ago, mint was like the shit. 
and then I didn't see it for a while. I never liked it on me. So this is weird that I'm even doing this. I like it. It wasn't very difficult to blend this out, so that's always good. Next, oh my gosh, what next? These colors are beautiful. I'm taking this shade right next to the mint one. I feel like it kind of looks as though there's not that much on the brush, but then on my eye, it really comes out pigmented. Shimmer in the crease because it looks good, guys. Notice it. Come at me. I'm gonna take this one now. This one looks really glitzy. Wow. That looks really pretty. This shade is so beautiful. What would you call that? Like forest green? I'm gonna use that to deepen up this outer corner. Wow, it's so green. I'll take the KKW Brightening Powder in number five. No, three. Can't count. Okay, I'm gonna sweep away the baking. Okay, back to this shade. Same brush, and let's go under the eye. All right, Urban Decay Junkie Pencil 24-7 Liner. Oh, I've never used it yet, how's that? I'll just line my top lid. Urban Decay have the best colored pencils. They also have this one called Freak. Oh my God, they named it after me. It's a really nice uh, green that's gonna match that first one we put on. I just don't wanna leave that inner part of my eye naked. Mascara. Guys, I can't stop using the NARS Climax. I did some sponsored content for them on my Instagram. It was hilarious actually, on my recent one, someone said I was wearing extensions. She was like, I'm a professional, you're wearing extensions. And I was like, she said, honey, like, you know, being condescending. She's like, honey, they're extensions. I'm a professional. I was like, okay. Other side. Oh, no. I'm gonna leave it at that anyway, because I will put lashes on. Okay, for lashes, I'm going to take these ones. They're by Manicare. Uh, I don't like them. They're not sitting right. Mmm, I really like the look. Okay, contouring my nose. Okay, Sweetie Pie Bronzer. I like, oh. Oh. No. Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? Oh, I dug my nails in it. <laughs> Damn it, it's so pretty and literally all my nails went in it. Oh my God. I love this bronzer, it smells so good. From my Pixi palette, I'm gonna take those two colors, put them on my cheeks. For lips, I'm gonna keep it really natural. This is the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. I'm not gonna do anything other than this because my eyes are green. <laughs> That is the finished look. I'm just gonna go do my hair and be right back. Okay, I just straightened my hair. I'm really into the sleek look right now. 
I think this look came out great. What do you guys think? I definitely think these little Huda Beauty palettes are really, really nice. They have a bunch of colors, but I really wanted to do the green one because I'm obsessed with green. I have green eyes and I feel like it's a color that almost looks wearable on me because there's not so much contrast between the colors on my face. It's, um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to enter the notification squad simply by leaving a comment below. Yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Um, and I will talk to you guys very soon.